everyone, it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. If you are joining me on YouTube, hop on over to the blog. It's www.thepinningmama.com. Last week we learned all about registration marks for print and cut, and today we are going to learn all about the transform panel. We learned about tabs in the transform panel, tabs 1, 2, and 5 in previous lessons. If you're reading the blog, they are all linked for you. And um, I will walk you through how to use all of those in previous posts. Today, I'm going to walk you through using tabs three and four in the transform panel. So let's get started. Being that the month is that this month is America's birthday, I decided to make matern, uh, matching shirts for my kids. I bought this design on Silhouette Studio Design Store. I bought the flag, and then I wrote America the Beautiful. Um, I colored it in the colors I wanted it to be in for heat transfer vinyl, and I'm going to cut it in three different colors um, for my shirts. I, I also bought this design on Silhouette Design Store, too. So all of it is bought. I just kind of put it in the way I wanted it to be put with little fireworks the places I wanted it to be. And now I'm going to show you how to use the transform panel to fix your design if it needs to be fixed. The third tab simply is um, used to rotate your design around different ways um, to the way you want it to be. So I, I rotated the flag a certain way. Um, what you want to do is I'll show you what you could do with it. Let me move this away. If you wanted to just rotate two, you can do 90 degrees, 180, 270, or you can custom rotate it. Down here, you can rotate by angles, so 45, 90, 180, 90, back the other way, 45, or go back to the normal. Um, or you can custom fix that as well. Um, you could rotate your words a certain way you wanted it to be rotated. Um, so any, if you, if you had certain little parts of your design that you wanted rotated a certain way, you can use this feature in the transform panel to rotate that area of the design in a certain way. If I ungrouped this and I wanted to rotate just the fireworks or the stars, you can do any parts of your design and then just group it all back together um, how you want it. So that's using the third tab. The fourth tab is labeled the move tab which is moving your design or pieces of your design by small increments um, around your page. Or you can also find points over here where move to. You can move it to certain points that you want your design to be moved to. Let's see. Um, so you want to switch it to here. It would move it and it moved it off because it moved it too far over. But you can also move your design to different points that you choose. I always, what I do is I use this a lot because what it does is it moves it by small increments across, or you can go up, or you can go down, which is nice because sometimes you just want to move it just a little bit, and trying to move it with your mouse can be hard, whereas this way you can just move it up. Or down, or you can move parts of your design. You could move um, it up just a little bit or down. I really like this feature in the transform panel because it just does small increments um, that you can move your design to the way to where you want it to, or pieces of your design without moving the whole design. Um, anytime you want to make any changes in pretty much anything in Silhouette. You want to make sure you have this gray box around it. Whatever it has the gray box around it is what you're going to, what's going to move for you or change or anything. So anytime you want to highlight, you want to move anything, change anything, color anything, you want to make sure you have this gray box around it. That's very important in Silhouette. Um, and you can also use your mouse and draw it all the way on your design so everything's highlighted if you see everything around my design is highlighted in gray um, you could move your whole design together um, 
you could you know move it to certain degrees if you wanted to cut it a certain way or you're trying to fit a couple designs on one page you do this way move it over here and this way move it over there um, try to move it back there we go I will link everything for you um, in the post on using the line scale and share um, and just hop on over to the blog and you can read all about those features as well next week we are going to learn all about print and cut from start to finish and thanks guys